Check this out. 46 years a lifeguard in Long Beach. Everyone marvels at his impeccable shape. And folks, I gotta be honest with you. Um, I need to lose a few pounds. Um, and I have, I've had not the best of eating habits. So I've entrusted my good friend Marvin Weiss to help me to uh, get in better shape and lose some weight. Uh, he's, a, he's a marvel. He's a great guy. Uh, we all love him in Long Beach. Let's give it up for Marvin Weiss. So Marvin, welcome to the show. Thank you, Howard. Thanks for having me. It's good to see you. Oh, it's great to see you. Marvin, talk about being a lifeguard in Long Beach for 46 years and what, what's that experience been like for you, being on the beach that you love so much for now going on four and a half decades? Well, being on the beach for so many years is just a thrill for me. I do it for my heart. It's not really for the funds. It's free because I love it. love to be able to protect the uh, people of this city, people that come to our city. It uh, just goes on and on. But really, it's about uh, making sure the next generation of lifeguards knows what to do, knows how to do it, and is comfortable in the ocean, with the ocean, and respects the ocean. Really, that's you know the key to all of it, is that the ocean has to be respected, and you, because you just don't know what instance may occur. But the uh, idea of staying in shape, and being in shape, and coming off that beach in an impeccable condition is goes without saying that one of the things that I try to instill upon any of the younger, younger generations of lifeguards that have come across all these years. And Marvin, it goes without saying that uh, you've been involved in, in saving hundreds of lives over the years. And, <laughs> and, and talk about that has to be the most gratifying feeling, knowing that you've gone out, people in distress, made mistakes, and you've been there in crucial life-saving situations. Well, in hundreds, could be. Uh, hard to keep count. Let's, let's say law, let's say lifeguards in general in Long Beach over the last four decades. How about that? Hundreds of saves. Oh, no, no, then we can go to thousands. Okay. From there, but most of it's about these days preventative measures. We work on preventative measures, but the idea of rescuing someone or just being in that situation, it humbles you. It makes you realize that how important you are to be there to watch over the waters to protect the people. Sometimes people will follow other people into the water just because they think it looks like fun. It's not just fun. The ocean is ever not, not forgiving if it doesn't want to be. It can be, but it's not really. So it's a matter of that it's to respect the ocean and be in tune with it. And that's what lifeguarding is all about. And when you make that rescue and you've taken that person to shore or if you've brought that life back, which I have done, then it's very rewarding and does still keep you up at night. <laughs> All right, now, Marvin, I want to tap into some special secrets. So many people, whether they see you at, at Starbucks or the supermarket, or they see you around town, and they say, Marvin, how do you keep yourself in such great shape? So what's the secret to your always being in great shape? Tell us, give us a few trips, diet, nutrition. What's the secret to Marvin White staying in great, great shape? Well, I guess part has to be genetics, but you have to go beyond that because I have brothers and sisters that are not in the same condition that I am in. It's a matter of um, dedication, dedication to want to do better for yourself and take care of your body because hopefully it'll take care of you for the long run. The uh, idea is to do something every day if you can, even if it's only six days a week. If you need that one day off, fine, take it. But when I say everything, anything, I could mean just taking a walk down the street, Howard, just like we have discussed with you. Take that one block walk today, a two block walk in two weeks, a three block walk in four weeks, extend it, continue it, and just make it part of your life. If you make it part of your life, the exercise regime, it'll, you'll benefit from it. You'll start to shed the weight that you want to shed. Then it's a matter of having such a diet that you're not eating as you've stated to me about the junk food you don't want to eat the junk food you want to keep going and eat as much of those those vegetables that you should be eating uh, personally i stopped eating red meat when i was 19 years old uh, have i not eaten it over the past what's the math on that one 60 uh 43 years yes i have uh, but only in very small quantities 
Uh, put a rack of lamb in front of me, I might still eat it. But at the same time, I know that it's not going to kill me, but at the same time, you should continue to try to eat the best you can for yourself. Everybody's genetic makeup is different, so you never know how each thing is going to affect you or, or affect your weight gain or loss. Now, if you're losing weight, and you're, you have a lot of fat and you're going to be losing weight, but you're trying to gain it by getting just muscle and just going in and maybe lifting weights, may not be the only answer. You've got to combine the aerobic work with the weight work in order to cut down the weight and shed it. Don't forget, though, that muscle is heavier than fat, so even though you might look like you've lost weight, but you, think, but you haven't seen the change on the scale, that change will come over time. And i got to tell you, since I've been talking to you, Marvin, you've definitely made it, uh, a difference. Uh, last time I went to the supermarket, when I came home, my wife was in a state of shock because instead of walking in with potato chips and cookies, I walked in with a container of celery and carrots and a box of almonds and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and 12 apples. And my wife looked at me, she almost fainted. So well, me walking home with celery, carrots, almonds, and apples, that was the Marvin making a difference. Thank you. We have to try to make a difference and inspire others. Even if you don't know those people, if they know you, they see you, you, you never know who you inspire by the acts that you do. So, Howard, keep up the good work and inspire everybody. All right. And Marvin, lastly, because I know this is important and, and I, I know that it's, it's near and dear to your heart. Besides being a lifeguard for 46 years and keep yourself in great shape, I know one thing that you really, really care about um, you've been a lifeguard at the beach for 46 years and having Long Beach being beautiful on the beach and around town is very important. Talk about your passion for the environment and also always being involved in, in, in the cleanups and keeping our uh, beachfront community clean and safe and protecting the environment. Well, the first statement I'll make on that is to always leave with more than you came with. So if you're on the beach and even if it's just a cigarette butt or a straw on the beach, Pick it up, get rid of it, throw it away properly, get it off the beach. If you're in the woods somewhere and you're visiting a river or a stream or the, just out camping, hiking, do the same thing. Always leave with more than you came with. The environment means a lot to me. It's uh, wh why I feel that I've got Native American blood in me, but I did find out genetically that I don't, but yet in my heart that I do. Uh, the, the waters are very important. If we don't take care of the earth, she can't take care of us. If we continue to shut down pieces of the earth, like the rainforest and things like that, which are the lungs of the earth, then she can't breathe and she can die. If she dies, we die. So we have to be very conscientious about that. And if everybody does a little bit, it adds up to a lot. You don't have to do a lot. It's nice if you can, but if you can't, just do a little bit and be concerned. And that's really what it's all about. How inspiring is my friend Marvin Weiss? Let's give it up for Marvin Weiss! And uh, Marvin, we would like to bring you back later in the show with a little joint segment with Maureen Griffin and talk about uh, some really cool family uh, stories. How's that? Sounds good. All right, Marvin Weiss, ladies and gentlemen.